Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1669, Mount Edna in Sicily erupts, destroying Nicolosi and killing 20,000 people. In 1740, construction begins on evangelist George Whitefield's Bethesda Orphanage in Georgia. In 1776, the Continental Congress authorizes a medal for George Washington. In 1807, the Slave Trade Act becomes law, abolishing the slave trade in the British Empire. Also in 1807, the first fair-paying passenger railway service in the world is established on the Oyster Mouth Railway in Swansea, Wales, in Great Britain. In 1811, Percy Shelley is expelled from the University of Oxford for publishing the pamphlet, The Necessity of Atheism. In 1851, the Yosemite Valley discovery is made public by Major James D. Savage and Captain John Bowling after being shown by Indian guides in California. In 1867, Arturo Toscanini was born today. In 1882, today, the first demonstration of pancake making is held at a department store in New York City. In 1898, writer O. Henry is sentenced to five years in prison for embezzling $854 from a bank reportedly to pay for his sick wife's medical bills. While in prison, he goes on to write many classic books. In 1901, 55 people die when a Rock Island train derailed near Marshalltown, Iowa. In 1902, in Russia, 567 students that are tried for rioting and political disaffection are found guilty. 95 are banished to Siberia. In 1905, Confederate battle flags captured during the American Civil War are returned to the South. In 1911, a fire at the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory in New York City killed 146 people, prompting the creation of health and safety legislation. In 1913, the home of Vaudeville, the Palace Theater in New York City, opens. In 1919, President Woodrow Wilson's dream of a League of Nations becomes a reality after the League Covenant is adopted at the Paris Peace Conference. In 1931, the Scottsboro Boys are arrested in Alabama and charged with raping a white woman. In 1934, American feminist and activist Gloria Steinem was born. In 1936, a 200-inch mirror blank to build the Hale Telescope leaves Corning in New York bound for California. In 1937, it is revealed that Quaker Oats pays Babe Ruth $25,000 per year for ads. Also in 1937, the Washington Daily News is the first United States paper to include a perfumed advertising page. In 1939, Billboard magazine introduces the Hillbilly Music Chart. Its name is later changed to Country Music Chart. In 1942, Aretha Franklin was born today. Also in 1942, the first 700 Jews from the Polish Lvov district reached the Balzac concentration camp. In 1943, Jimmy Durante and Gary Moore premiere on radio. In 1947, the rocket man himself, Sir Elton John, was born today. Just ask my wife, she'll tell you. Also in 1947, an explosion in a coal mine in Centralia, Illinois, kills 111 people. In 1948, the first successful tornado forecast predicts that a tornado will strike Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma. In 1949, the Soviet Union begins deporting 90,000 Estonians, Latvians, and Lithuanians. In 1951, at the fifth Tony Awards, Guys and Dolls wins for musical, and The Rose Tattoo wins for play. In 1954, at the 26th Academy Awards, From Here to Eternity wins Best Film, and William Holden and Audrey Hepburn for Best Actor and Actress. Also in 1954, RCA manufactures the first color TV set. It had a 12 and a half inch screen and cost $1,000, which would be over $10,000 in 2022. In 1955, the United States Customs sees copies of Allen Ginsberg's poem, Howl, as obscene. In 1957, the treaties of Rome were signed, establishing the European community 
and the European Atomic Energy Community. In 1960, D.H. Lawrence's Lady Chatterley's Lover is ruled not obscene, so can be purchased in the United States again. In 1961, Gypsy closes at the Broadway Theater in New York City after 702 performances. Also in 1961, Elvis Presley performs live on the USS Arizona. And in 1961 as well, Sputnik 10 carries a dog into Earth orbit. The dog is recovered safely. In 1965, American actress Sarah Jessica Parker was born. Also in 1965, civil rights activists led by Martin Luther King Jr. successfully complete their four-day, 50-mile march from Selma to the Capitol in Montgomery, Alabama. In 1966, the U.S. Supreme Court rules that the poll tax is unconstitutional. In 1967, Happy Together by the Turtles hits number one. In 1968, The Who and Cream make their U.S. debuts on Murray the K's Easter Show. In 1969, during their honeymoon, John Lennon and Yoko Ono hold their first bed in for peace at the Amsterdam Hilton Hotel starting today until March 31st. In 1970, the Concorde makes its first supersonic flight. In 1971, the Boston Patriots become the New England Patriots. Also in 1971, Tom Jones's song, She's a Lady, goes gold. In 1972, soft rock group America's self-titled album hits number one. In 1974, at the 9th Academy of Country Music Awards, Charlie Rich and Loretta Lynn win. In 1975, King Faisal of Saudi Arabia is assassinated by his nephew, who was then publicly executed. Also in 1975, Linda Ronstadt releases a cover of the Everly Brothers song, When Will I Be Loved? It hits number two on the charts. In 1976, My Fair Lady opens at the St. James Theater in New York City for 384 performances. In 1979, the first fully functional space shuttle orbiter, Columbia, is delivered to the John F. Kennedy Space Center to be prepared for its launch, which occurs two years later. In 1982, Wayne Gretzky becomes the first NHL player to score 200 points in a season. Also in 1982, tonight is the first broadcast of Cagney and Lacey, starring Sharon Gless and Tyne Daly on CBS TV. In 1985, at the 57th Academy Awards, Amadeus, F. Murray Abraham, and Sally Field win. In 1986, the U.S. Supreme Court rules that the Air Force could ban Jews from wearing yarmulkes while in the Air Force. Also in 1986, Canadian Kurt Browning becomes the first figure skater to land a quadruple jump. In 1987, the U.S. Supreme Court rules that gender-based workplace affirmative action plans do not constitute discrimination on the basis of sex under the Civil Rights Act of 1964. In 1988, Robin Givens demands full access to husband Mike Tyson's money. In 1990, the Happy Land Fire was an arson fire that killed 87 people trapped inside an illegal nightclub in the New York City borough of the Bronx. Also in 1990, at the 10th Razzie Awards, Star Trek V wins. In 1991, at the 63rd Academy Awards, Dances with Wolves, Kathy Bates, and Jeremy Irons win. In 1995, boxer Mike Tyson is released from jail after serving three years. In 1996, an 81-day-long standoff between the anti-government group Montana Freeman and law enforcement near Jordan, Montana begins. Also in 1997, the European Union's Veterinarian Committee bans the export of British beef and its byproducts as a result of mad cow disease. And in 1996 as well, at the 68th Academy Awards, Braveheart, Nicolas Cage, and Susan Sarandon win. And another in 1996, the U.S. issues the newly redesigned $100 bill. In 1997, Barrymore opens at the Music Box Theater in New York City for 240 performances. In 2000, at the 20th Golden Razzie Awards, Wild Wild West wins. In 2001, at the 73rd Academy Awards, Gladiator, Russell Crowe, and Julia Roberts win. 
In 2002, a 6.1 magnitude earthquake struck the Hindu Kush region of northern Afghanistan, causing more than 1,000 deaths. Also in 2002, TV reality show The Bachelor, hosted by Chris Harrison, debuts on ABC TV. In 2006, American singer-songwriter Buck Owens passes away. Also in 2006, a gunman kills six people before taking his own life at a party in Seattle's Capitol Hill neighborhood. In 2015, British musician Zahn Malik announces he is leaving the boy band One Direction. And in 2016, Zahn Malik's solo debut album, Mind of Mine, is released, making him the first British male artist to debut at number one in the United States. In 2018, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un begins a surprise trip to Beijing by train to meet with the Chinese president. In 2019, the first rocket fired from Gaza since 2014 toward Tel Aviv prompts Israel to return airstrikes on Gaza. Also in 2019, electronics manufacturer Apple introduces a new TV streaming platform called Apple TV Plus, a news service called Apple News Plus, and an Apple credit card. And in 2019 as well, NASA cancels a planned historic all-female spacewalk because it doesn't have enough spacesuits to fit women. And one more from 2019, a British Airways flight from London mistakenly flies to Edinburgh, Scotland instead of Dusseldorf, Germany when the wrong flight plan is keyed into the computer. And lastly in 2021, U.S. President Joe Biden announces a new goal of 200 million vaccinations in his administration's first 100 days. His previous goal was 100 million. Thanks for watching today's episode. I hope you liked it and I hope you sign up for my notifications. Give me a thumbs up, make a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.